Hello everyone. So uh, this message is for Virgo. This is an oracle reading for the month of April for Virgo. Sorry this one took so long. Um, but let's get to it. So <clears throat> hope you guys are doing all right. Um, I had a card that came out first. So <clears throat> The first card that we have is Message in a Bottle. Um, this card is all about <clears throat> spirit trying to talk to us. So you're getting signs, you're getting signals, maybe reoccurring numbers, patterns. Um, people are saying things, you know, uh, in certain ways or you're reading certain things. Basically, Spirit's trying to get your attention. God's trying to get your attention right now. Um, over what? I don't know. So we'll find out. <clears throat> but that card also comes out too when people want a sign. So it's like, God, give me a sign. Spirit, give me a sign for this or that. <clears throat> should I do this? Or shouldn't I? And that card comes out if you know, it's like spirits trying to say, yes, here's your sign. Okay. So if you've been asking for a sign, um, <clears throat> if you have been seeing recurring numbers and themes, then yeah, definitely it's God in spirit, like trying to talk to you. Absolutely. <clears throat> I just had a large amount of cards just come out. So I'm going to keep shuffling and then. Okay. So yeah, you've been thinking about something. Um, there's definitely something on your mind right now. And I think you're analyzing it. You're thinking it through. You're trying to figure out every single little, this sounds very Virgo-ish too. <laughs> you're trying to think, figure out every little corner and detail of the situation and um like what you know what is it what's going on how is this connecting what is the thing um but god is giving you signals and signs all over the place and telling you like this is it right here <laughs> and you're like all over the place like is this this i don't know i don't know but you're getting the signals and the signs, okay? So it's like happening, just need to pay attention. Oh, and this is for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. So <clears throat> um, even if you're not a Virgo sun, which is like the main sign that most people know, um, sun sign, you could be Virgo rising or moon sign and this would apply to you, um, okay? Woo, woo, woo. All right, let's try that again. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go off these because I feel like, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So you, it's a possible soulmate situation here. Um, so what you're thinking about might involve another person. Um, you are wondering if this person is your soulmate. If you are <clears throat> supposed to be with this person, um, you have a million questions and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be with this person. I don't know if this is right. I don't know what it is. Um, and you're thinking about it all the time. But you were getting clear messages on whether or not it's, it's right or wrong. Okay. Um, there are you know, uh, things out of your control that have brought you together probably with this person. Um, it felt like you were like drawn together and that it was out of your control, this union. Okay. Um, and yeah, you like, you know, you're feeling, you felt ready for it and you felt like it was meant to happen it was supposed to happen um but let me just say that 
it may not be all it appears to be. So if you are thinking that this is it, even if you felt drawn to this person and you feel like it's a soulmate situation, it may not be all it's cracked up to be because this card is all about um, <sighs> things under the surface. It's like it looks good on the surface, but under the surface, it's not so good, okay? Think about gold on top of rotten tomatoes. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. I'm just, the cards are coming out and I'm just saying what they are. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Okay. <clears throat> Oh. All right. So it's time to step back and observe this situation. It's time to really step back, look at the situation, and figure out if this is what it what it looks like. What you thought it was, does it actually it? Because you it's gonna take you need to step back and get a new perspective on this. Because it may not be all that you thought it was. Um, if you just stepped back for a second and looked at not your feelings and all of the like, like feelings involved in it, and you stepped back and you looked at all of the evidence in front of you, actions, the things, don't ignore those things inside of you that are saying that wasn't quite right or why isn't this person doing this or why do they say this but do this? You're, you're being asked to step back and see this in a different light, um, not connected to your emotions, okay? Um, the masculine energy. So you may need to rely on some masculine energy in this. Um, some more logical thinking, some more critical thinking. Um, thinking that isn't connected to your, so tied to your emotions that you can't see through it. It's gonna need some masculine, we all have masculine feminine energy within us and it might need to be tapping into that to get a clearer picture of what this relationship actually is because it doesn't look like it's what you thought it was, okay? And then just under the deck, we have not for you. So, yeah, which might not, I mean, it might bring up some abandonment issues. It might bring up some issue feelings of what am I going to do after this? Like, how am I going to uh, feel without this relationship? Like, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to this? What's going to happen to all these things? Um, and it's, it might not be an easy break but it's going to be worth stepping back and looking at and being honest and truthful with yourself because, um, yeah, you need to be honest and open and truthful with yourself. And there is something dishonest in this situation. Something isn't being 100% truthful and open with you, okay? Okay. All right, yeah. You may need to step outside of your comfort zone in this. Um, and it definitely feels like a comfort zone. This is the comfort zone card for me. Um, and you, you know, like to be in your comfort zone, but it's, it's time to step out. All right, I hope that helps. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting these monthly um, on Instagram. You go to the my, link in my bio and schedule a personal reading. Um, and if you're on Facebook, you can also schedule a personal reading. Just message me. All right. Have a good day, you guys.